Hi, fire sign. Okay, we're doing your, um, ooh, May 22nd, all right? May 22nd, 2018. These are your dailies, okay? I will be doing end of May from the 21st um, to the 31st end of May readings for each sign because y'all keep bugging the hell out of me for to do that shit, so I'm going to do it for y'all. Um, I really hate doing collective readings like that because energy can change and... You know, like I can do this, I can do this reading right now and in two hours energy can change. Okay, so what I'm going to do it because y'all keep asking me to do it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do end of May readings for each sign. Okay, so that you can be expecting those videos today. All right, this is for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, May 22nd. Let's get it popping. I want to say thank you for all the love on Instant Glow. Okay, thank you so much, you guys. Keep the questions coming. All right, Let's see what's going on with you guys for today. What you can expect to be dealing with. I see some of you guys are having, all right, some new beginnings in love, new love opportunities. All right, good shit. Okay, let's see what's popping. All right, you have the energy of the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so somebody's not feeling abundant. Um, no offers being made. This could this could be job as well. Maybe the job offers are not coming through. The love offers are not coming through. This is something tangible, um, but something that you were expecting uh, expecting tangible money, investment, inheritance. Um, it's not it's not coming through right now. The offer's not being made right now. Okay, this is definitely something. Uh, this is tangible money right here. But whatever the case may be, there's no offers being made. Okay, you have the energy of the nine of swords in reverse. Okay, nonchalant. Uh, no worries. No stress. Okay, you pretty chill right here. All right, I feel like you were in this energy. You were stressed out. You were having a lot of anxiety, nervousness. But now you're chill. You're nonchalant. You're getting over it. Okay, it could be you probably were stressed out about this offer. But I feel like you found out it wasn't going to be made and you're like, chill about it, okay? You got the clarity that you needed, okay? You have the energy of the Page of Cups, okay? Feeling um, expressive, feeling airy, light, fun-loving, okay? Um, this is a very childlike, playful energy, okay? I feel like somebody here wants to apologize. Somebody here is feeling very playful, very creative, okay? Very lighthearted, all right? The overall energy is the temperance, okay? So I feel like a lot of you fire signs, you guys are... Um, you guys are coming to grips with your emotions, okay? I feel like there was a lot of pride here, but I feel like you guys are coming to grips with your emotions, okay? Tempering yourself, balancing heart and head, okay? Um, emotions and logic, all right? And this is, I feel like, okay, so you're tempered. Let's see what else is, what else is here. Mm. Okay, I feel like this has to do with sex as well. Um, okay, so a lot of you, we have the uh, temperance and we have the knight of wands here. So feeling confident, feeling fun, feeling vivacious, feeling uh, experimental, adventurous, okay? Um, yeah, so you're temper, you're chill, all right? I feel like there was an offer that you were expecting or expecting to make, but you're just like, nah, or you're that or you're, you're just over it. You're over the offer itself, okay? And this, this to me too is, I feel like a lot of a lot of you fire signs were offering something a little more practical, but now you're wanting to be more emotional. You're wanting to be playful. You're wanting to open up. You want to offer some emotions, maybe even an apology. Okay, but emotions of some sort. Immature emotions, but emotions nonetheless, all right? You're not taking life, you're not taking life so serious, okay? I fuck with that, like that. So let's see, let's get some clarifiers here for this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Um... Were you expecting a loan or expecting some money, a cash advance or something? All right. But I feel like you're not sweating it, though. Like, it's all good, right? No, not really emotions here. I thought we got the two of cups, but I feel like... Okay, yeah, let's see. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Fool in reverse. So I feel like you guys are not making an offer because you guys, like, I feel like here, Fire Sign, <laughs> I feel like you were going to make an offer to someone, but you're not because you're afraid they're going to reject you. You're afraid of, you're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of, you're afraid of putting yourself out there, okay? I feel like you want to offer someone tangible. You want to take care of somebody. You want to give somebody money. You want to offer someone stability, something practical, down to earth. But I feel like you're unwilling to put yourself out there. You're unwilling to take a leap of faith. You don't have faith that it's going to work out or you don't have faith that this person, this, you feel like this person is going to either reject you or you're not going to get it. Maybe you were going to apply for a loan, but you're like, I'm not going to do it anymore because it's not going to work out. Or you're gonna you're gonna ask for some money, but you're you you're you're unwilling to take a leap of faith. You're unwilling to put yourself out there. Really, to me, this is like the full card is someone. You see, he has 
two balls and a cane. That's his dick and balls. Sorry to be vulgar. It is what it is. But you don't have any balls, okay? Like, you don't have the courage. You don't have the balls to put yourself out there to make this offer, to ask for this offer, okay? With the Knight, with the knight of Swords in reverse, we have the High Priestess, okay? So I feel like... You guys are being nonchalant, being real chill, okay? Your emotions your emotions are in check. Your emotions are intact right here. You're, you're feeling very balanced. This is also karmic balance as well, okay? This is karmic balance here, okay? I feel like you're nonchalant because you, you follow your intuition. You're also following the um your guides. You're following your, the inner knowing, okay? You ain't saying shit. You don't have to say shit. You just know, okay? This is karmic balance right here. And I feel like this is why... I feel like something is telling you not to make this offer, at this, but at the same time, you're following your intuition, but at the same time, you don't have any faith, all right? You could be listening to the advice of someone else, too, but I feel like you're following your intuition, but you still don't have the courage. You still don't have any courage here. This could be somebody you're dealing with as well, all right? Maybe some, maybe you offered something to somebody, and they're, they're rejecting it, or they don't have the courage to put themselves out there. They don't have the courage to start a new beginning with you, okay? Somebody, somebody don't have the courage. Somebody don't have balls. Somebody don't have kahunas here. Okay, so we have with the page of cups, we have the two of swords in reverse. Yeah, you made a decision already. A decision was made regarding this offer. You're not gonna do it. All right, you're not gonna put yourself out there. You're not gonna take a leap of faith because you, I just feel like I feel like you just don't see, um, like you just you just don't see it being promising. Like you're you're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of what what could go wrong, what might happen, and I feel like. This is something that's coming to you. Maybe it's the wrong time, but whatever the case may be, you made a decision. We have the two of swords here in reverse. It was a tough decision too, real tough decision too. This could be regarding a water sign or an air sign individual or Sagittarius, okay? I also have earth here, all right? Pisces too, could be a mistress, but I feel like, yeah, a decision was made here, okay? Um, I'm hearing too, like I said before, um, you were offering something practical, something down to earth, something pragmatic, something something more material based, but I feel like now you've decided to offer something more emotional, offer your emotions, offer an apology, okay? Be more lighthearted, open up your heart a little bit, okay? Because I feel like you're emotionally balanced, it's karmic balance here, okay? You might have been feeling guilty about something, about somebody or something, a situation, but I feel like um, now you're deciding to open up, open up emotionally, be playful, okay? Not all serious and shit, but be playful like, hey, sorry about that fire sign. Somebody called me. Okay, so whenever someone calls me while I'm recording a video, I, I feel like it's an omen. It's a sign. All right. So here's the thing, fire sign. If you're going to open up to someone, if you're going to offer someone an apology, if you're going to open up emotionally, okay, and show your emotions a little bit, don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody talk you out of doing it. Okay. Follow your intuition. All right. Do what you do what's right. Period. Okay. All right, period. So your guard, your your guidance for today is a uh, guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Yeah, I feel like fire sign. Um, follow your intuition. Don't let anybody frighten you out of making this decision. Okay, if you're afraid of what's gonna happen, if you're afraid to take a leap of faith, if you're afraid to put yourself out there, you're only afraid because you don't feel safe. Okay, but just know that your prayers are being heard. They're being answered. You're spiritually protected. You have there's somebody protecting you spiritually. All right, take the leap of faith. Just fucking do it. All right. Stop being afraid. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. All right, today's lesson is forgive yourself, okay? It says identify one area of your life of your own life where your energy where you're angry at yourself or where you where you let oh, what the fuck? Identify one area of your own life where your anger at yourself or where you've yet to forgive something you've done. Damn, they should make these fucking easier to read, read for real. Healing requires forgiving oneself as well as others. Your goal to love yourself enough to heal. Yeah, whatever somebody did to you, whatever you did to somebody, fire sign, let that shit go. Let it go so you can grow, okay? Let it go. It's time to heal. It's time to get over the past. It's time to fucking suck it up. If you owe somebody an apology, apologize, period, die, all right? Let that shit go. Know that, some, know that you are spiritually protected and it's divinely guided, okay? So I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, okay? Thank you.